Ken? Ken? What? what? Good, you're not dead. I've been trying to get in touch with you for 45 minutes. Jesus, John, what are you doing here? I gotta get you in the simulators. We gotta ship the land. What? There's been an explosion. Oxygen tanks are gone, two fuel cells gone, command modules shut down. What about the crew? The crew's fine so far, trying to keep them alive in the limb. We're gonna have to shut that down pretty soon, too. We got a lot of people working the numbers on this one, Ken. And nobody's too sure how much power we're gonna have when we hit re-entry. The command module's gonna be frozen up pretty good by then. We see the centimeter rise over 20 at any point, power up is no good. We see it spikes, that's sayonar for the guidance computer. Our guys can't re-enter, okay? How much power do we have to play with? Barely enough to run this coffee pot for nine hours. Uh, Go. Yeah, uh, Ken Mattingly just got here. Copy. He's here. They've been losing heat since the accident. They're going to start getting a lot of water condensation on the control panels. Ken, glad you're here. You know what's going on? Uh, John's brought me up to speed. What do we have left in the batteries? You don't really know. We got to get started on some shortcuts for power up. Yeah, you know how short? Well, it's all in the sequencing, John. If we can skip whatever we don't absolutely need and turn things on in the right order, maybe I agree. We start on a procedure? Well, the engineers have tried, but I mean, it's your ship. We gotta get you in there. Okay. Frank, I need the sim cold and dark. Give me the exact same conditions we've got in there now, and I need uh, present status of every instrument. You got it. I need a flashlight. That's not what they have up there. Don't give me anything they don't have on board. Let's get this show on the road. Put them in space, fellas. 